What's up guys, my name is Kai Christensen and I'm here exploring Vietnam in 2022. This is what a sneak peek of it looks like. Good morning guys, we are in uh, Da Nang today. Um, we have just rented a motorbike for 150k and we're going to explore some of the mountains today. Uh, it's breakfast time, it's about 10.30, a little bit late, but you know how we do. Uh, now we're here on the corner and we're going to get some pho. Thank you so much. Pho just arrived. Classic beef noodle soup with uh, bean sprouts and Thai basil. So yeah, let's enjoy. Alright guys, so it's been like a week since I've had pho last. I don't know, maybe uh, I got it in Hanoi when I was in the north. And then basically through the central northern places there wasn't much pho. But now I'm back and it tastes so good. I'm so happy to be back. So yeah, let's try this. It's so hearty. Like I love having rice noodles in the morning. It just makes me, my stomach feel so good, ready to explore. Even though it's blazing hot, it's like over 35 degrees here. A hot bottle of noodle soup just makes me feel so good. Okay guys, if you like this video today, definitely subscribe and continue to watch the Vietnam series as I'll be traveling for the next two weeks through this amazing country. Alright guys, see you at the next video. They have a stopped gate around three kilometers uh, towards the peak, uh, or I should say before the peak, and you have to rent an additional um, semi-automatic scooter in order to get up here. So what I did was I asked the locals who are also getting um, a trip up here. They said it was around 100k, so 100k. Guys, we've made it to our first peak on Tantra Mountain. This is an amazing view of basically all of uh, Da Nang and the little uh, Da Nang Sea and the little harbor inside. Such a cool view here. Uh, really amazing experience so far. So today guys, we are at Santra Mountain in Vietnam. We are taking a bike route all the way up this mountain and it is an amazing, amazing view. So how do you get to these famous monkey mountains? Well, what I did personally was I took a scooter from my hostel, rode it here in about half an hour. Once you get about three kilometers up to the peak from here, you have to rent a semi-automatic scooter by one of the gate guards. For me, this costed around 100K. That's the price that I would ask for, about five Canadian dollars to experience this beautiful view and more. If you are planning to travel to either Hoi An or Da Nang, this mountain is definitely worth a visit. The views are some of the, the best in the world and it's a budget friendly alternative to doing the uh, Golden Bridge uh, up in the, the, west, uh, the eastern part of Da Nang. So far I'm yet to see any monkeys but I am going to keep my eye on it and see if we can find any. I just thought to take a moment to reflect how amazing this view feels. There are a few moments that just really shock me to my core about why I travel and do adventurous things and really this is one of these moments. I know that there's going to be downs and I know that there's going to be ups along the way but I'm so ready to conquer this travel journey and everything that lies ahead and this is a great sign. I specifically remember 2019, getting the news that I was going to be traveling to Southeast Asia on an exchange program with my school. 
super excited. I was starting to pack my bags and then some of the most disappointing news came when COVID-19 hit. Not only was everyone affected around me health-wise, but also my ability to travel was prohibited. And now three years later in 2022, getting to travel and see views just like that, it makes life all worth it. So if you're debating traveling, definitely do it, especially as a young person, especially in your uh, later years, whatever it may be, there's always a way to find and learn new things about yourself and the world. <sighs> These are one of those moments that feel really, really good. Okay guys, so I just got done doing the mountain um, motorbike really fun time but I'm super hungry and I'm headed to the beach but a lot of the prices for food right beside the beach are a little expensive so I stopped and get something I was craving which is Korean fried chicken. I got it with some rice, some salad uh, and uh, some uh, daikon in total. I think it cost around 90,000 dong or like five dollars or so so yeah pretty solid meal. I'm super excited to eat it. Okay guys, so I got the gochujang, which is like the classic spicy Korean chili paste. It looks very crispy, I don't know, it's like, probably can't feel how crispy it is, but it's quite crispy, so yeah, let's take a bite. Mm. Sweet, spicy, super crispy, and like really juicy and tender. I got the boneless ones because I just love nomming them down. Really good with some white rice. So, excellent spot. If you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to subscribe and like because I will be taking you all over Vietnam and Southeast Asia.